There are many potential hazards when working on a grain farm, from working with heavy-duty machinery with an array of moving parts to large grain bins. Every farm should have a system in place to identify and control hazards. Hannah is a grain farmer from southern Alberta who is going to discuss a few examples of the hazards associated with grain handling on her farm and review the hazard assessment process for those examples. In a hazard assessment, you want to complete the following steps. 1. Identify the job. 2. Identify the potential hazards. 3. Identify the controls that are in place or should be in place. And 4. Train and inform others about these hazards. Hannah will now identify a few examples of the hazards associated with grain handling specific to her operation. Let's start with step one, identifying the job, which in this case is grain handling and storage. Now let's identify the various hazards and the respective controls. Many grain trucks are equipped with hydraulic lifts that hoist the truck box up to help unload the grain. There is a very serious crush point there should you be caught under the box and the machinery fails. So in order to unload this, you need to hoist up the box. So you wouldn't want to um, climb underneath this box unless it was braced up and you can see the brace right there. It's important to secure the truck box with a manual brace when hoisting it up. This prevents any incident that may occur should the hoist fail. There are many wrap and entanglement points to be aware of, particularly when unloading grain from the truck into the boots. Likewise, the auger and other equipment with moving parts present several similar hazards. So this is the tub or the boot. This is where we're uh, going to unload the grain from the truck into the auger. An important thing would be to leave this um, grate in place on top of the, uh, the auger or the flighting because of course these rotate and uh, they're a moving part that can be a hazard. It's important to have appropriate guards and grates that can protect you from moving parts. If these are not present on your auger, then be sure to keep your distance while this equipment is in motion. It's also important to note the following controls associated with moving parts. There are many instances where keys may be left in the ignition even when the tractor or machine is turned off. This can be a serious risk if another worker starts up the machinery while someone else is working on a plugged auger or begins to move a tractor without properly communicating. If we were to go back over to the um, boot and say we wanted to work on it, I would take the key with me and put it in my pocket so that while I was working on it, if somebody came uh, to the tractor, um, they wouldn't start it up while I was doing some work behind there. So in the case of a, a plug, so if you plug this up, we would um, of course shut the tractor and, and the power off and uh, if needed we would remove these guards but we would make sure that there was um, no risk of any moving parts before we did that. So if for some reason you had to put your uh, tractor, your auger out of commission for a while you could use this tag just to notify anybody else that might be working on it that it's um, out of commission for a while and so it would prevent them from starting it up and getting into any sort of difficulty. One of the easiest ways to prevent injury is to ensure that the machinery cannot be turned on by someone else while you are working on or around it. Also tag and lock out any equipment that is being worked on. Many older trucks require the farmer to climb up onto the truck in order to tarp it. This is a potential fall hazard where the farm worker could easily fall into the grain truck box or off the truck causing injury. This truck's set up so we can tarp it from the ground so we don't need to uh, climb up on the truck and do it. So we can do any of the tarping and untarping um, from this handle here. Install more automatic systems that allow you to tarp your truck from the ground. This is the safest way to ensure that you don't have to climb onto the truck. If you do have to climb a grain bin or piece of machinery, be sure to use three points of contact. The last step is to educate and train those working on your farm about the hazards and controls that are present. Ensure that evaluation stays alive over time and always train new workers, family members and visitors as they arrive on the farm. Hannah assessed only a few of the hazards associated with grain handling. 
when you complete a hazard assessment for a job task specific to your farm. Consider all of the potential hazards of that job on your farm and the applicable controls.